bricks of the ashes. I expected more. <laughs> Two pricks at the ashes, two pricks at the whacker. You want to waste my time? Okay. You want to play rough? Four days ago, all any Englishman wanted was a contest. Now we've got one, and it's not much fun. Who do you think is going to win the series now? <laughs> Australia's always going to win the series. So, Jared, what did you make of England today? I, I don't even care what you made of England today. <laughs> England today today must be england's lowest day under andy flower i would say since the uh, all out 51 in the west indies in the field they were they were just totally unlike what england have been in adelaide and brisbane they were it was amazing when swan dropped that catch actually to see that no one ran over to him yeah the, the, the feature of England's fielding has been that whatever they, they do a, a lovely bit of fielding, a nice catch, something people come over and pat them on the bottom. And that didn't happen when Swan grass settled. Swan has had an extraordinary day today. Obviously, he's normally a very safe pair of hands. Totally emasculated by, Fla by um, Strauss today. He bowled five overs today. Is that all? Five overs. <laughs> I didn't even know. It was a, no. there, was, there was a point where I was just like, I think I've seen him bowl once. Nine, nine overs in the innings, and, and extraordinary that the world's number two spin bowler, England needing a wicket in the first session. Strauss doesn't bowl him, he bowls Finn right there, you know, half the session. Swan's sitting there obviously thinking, God, throw me the ball, throw me the ball, I'll make something happen. Strauss doesn't give it to him. Well, to be fair, that when the ball was flicked to him, he didn't make anything like happen. Guys, guys, why are you fighting? You're like two grown men fighting like kids. It's so silly. It is silly. Sorry. Just... What about <laughs> the Huss? The Huss was unbelievable today. He made, he's making Alistair Cook look like Paul Collingwood at the moment. Yes, but to be fair to Alistair Cook, he's making Alistair Cook is making Alistair Cook look like Paul Collingwood at the moment. But yes, Sam, Hussey has looked in okay form. In Australia, that's nothing special. We see it all the time. I think one of the interesting things is that Hussey and Johnson actually both play for the same district club in Perth, Wanneroo. So they must be having a pretty good time at the moment. Well, I don't even know where Wanneroo is. But Mike Hussey has looked so good that we decided to give him his own game show. England's batting was pants. I, I don't even know what to say about England's batting. Chasing. Pants. Yes. It was Australian spinners. That's how bad <laughs> it was. It, chasing three nine one. Never chased that much in uh, in the fourth innings. Got to go, to even get halfway there. They needed to bat massively better than they had in the first innings. Sort of, sort of almost like Hussey and Watson did today. They had the perfect template there, and they ignored it. But then again, the way Strauss captain, it was like he wasn't watching them bat. So I think that's fair. But they needed to go out. and They needed to be de decisive defending, decisive attacking, and selective about the balls they played at. Andrew Strauss was none of those in his brief innings, and it just set a horrible tone. He led from the front. <laughs> he, did. he led from the front, just like Ponting in Australia's yeah. first and second it's innings. A great captaincy, dude. He was slashing at wide ones, then the nicky got out, he was half forward, sort of prodding the type of ball that Hussey was leaving alone for his entire yeah. inning. And then, we go on to Peterson, I mean, what? That was a weird innings from Peterson, wasn't it? It's a weird innings. Except for either you think Peterson, okay, either you want the, you want the counter attack or you want a mature innings. And in the in the way it was, it was just totally in the middle. He was off the mark with a with a pull, and you think, right, okay, there's some aggression coming. Then he gets t three off twenty three balls, and then he f fences at a wide one. Well, I've got one for you. Who's what? in shitter form, Paul Collingwood or Phil Hughes? <sighs> You can add Ponting to that too, probably. I, 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 if it wasn't for the fact that Anderson was left-handed, I would have had no idea who was the night watchman. Well, what a day that was. England 
55 wickets down, 81 runs on the board, supposed to be chasing 390. Not very good, is it? The Australians are all over them. First, Mike Hussey and Shane Watson with the bat. 100 for Hussey. I've seen enough of him now. If you don't mind, piss off. And England just capitulated in a heap. Pathetic. Like England of old, no backbone, no spine. Don't know what's going on. It's not the team that we've been watching for the first two test matches. Maybe they can come back again in Melbourne. Maybe they can come back in Sydney. Either way, this ain't good enough. Buck up your ideas. Night Watchman. You can take a break on this one. Fucking Night Watchman. What a disgrace Night Watchman are. They make no sense at all. In any, I don't care what cricket country you're from. I don't care if it, you know, Steve Waugh has anything to do with this or not. Night Watchmen have never been a good idea in any form of cricket for any country. If you're a batsman, get out there and bat. That is your fucking job. Don't send a bowler who's been working hard all day to try and get your team back in the game out there. He's had cramp. He's been flying around the world. And said, yes, he made a stupid decision. Yes, he should have been smarter. But he should never have been sent out there in the first place because you shouldn't use Night Watchmen. So, so the, this game is this game is over. It's not going to rain. This game is over. What does this mean for the series? Yeah, I think you can bet out the draw from here. Uh, what does this mean for the series? I still think we will win the series. You still do? I don't think Australia can win all three tests, as I've said a lot. Uh, maybe Swan's confidence has broken so much he won't be as handy in Sydney. But I think uh, I think England should still win the series. Having said that, Mitchell Johnson could be the defining, defining factor. The defining factor in that. Because Mitchell Johnson's mental and really good. I think England would snap your hand off for a 2 2 at the moment. Well, I think it's going to win the series. Yeah. Oh, England still, yeah. Moment earlier of the day, edging out Andrew Strauss for reasons previously discussed. It's, it's, it's James Anderson and Kevin Peterson, and to a lesser extent, Mitchell Johnson, for just this sledging row, which is just <laughs> absolutely. Wonder where you Pathetic. I can sort of imagine. Uh, I, I can imagine them meeting for a brawl around the back, and KP sort of nipping back to the hotel to get his Adidas hoodie, just in case he gets packed. Mitchell desperately trying to get his arm straight through to punch someone, and Jimmy just sort of tweeting in the background. It's just. I mean, these guys are not hard men. I, I can't be bothered with it. Fair enough. My Malayla of the day is Andrew Strauss because uh, he made no sense when he was moving the field. He made no sense when he was batting. He sent out a night watchman. He's lucky that, you know, if I, if I was English, I would probably want to lynch him. To finish things off, as always, we have our tweet. And it's a sombre one today. A tip. Try and enjoy what you have, as life is a gift. It should be fun. If you're lucky to find happiness, cherish it and fight for it. As far as we know, Shane Warne is still alive and well. Good night. You're a dickhead.